beam restricting device there are three types aperture diaphragm cones and cylinder and trolley meter what they do they regulate the shape of the x-ray beam therefore smaller area of the patient will be exposed and less stator radiation but the disadvantage is that there will be increased exposure to the patient to compensate for the image quality now where are they placed they are kept in the pathway of x-ray to regulate the shape means first we'll draw the glass tube where x-ray is produced the x-ray beam is now produced this beam goes and hit the x-ray restricting device which will restrict the shape and because of this restricted shape it will hit the patient therefore it is step between the tube and the patient now aperture diaphragm first restricting device we'll discuss it is the simplest device we'll draw the diagram the red spot is the gap which is the hole in the sheet of the lead what is the disadvantage that it will produce a large penumbra at the peripheral of the x-ray field now what is penumbra penumbra is unwanted radiation at periphery now let's draw the diagram first sheet of lead and the hole which was a red color in the first image in the previous now from the glass tube x-rays are produced hits the beam restricting device through the hole it will pass only a few x-rays will be passed therefore this has regulated the shape of the x-ray beam now let us see without the diagram also now the second beam restricting device cones and cylinder it is made up of lead plus copper the base part is attached to the x-ray tube let's draw the diagram last tube base part of the cone is attached base part of the cylinder is attached what is it there is less penumbra seen in cylinder now let's see the images on one side we have the glass tube and other beam restricting device cone and cylinder from the glass tube x-rays are produced in this shape it's the beam restricting device that is cone and in the shape of the cone it is image is produced without it now we'll see cylinder what happens again image x-ray is produced hits the beam restricting device and in the shape of the cylinder x-rays are produced now the third beam restricting device trolley meters what is it it is a box light equipment what does it contains it contains two adjustable diaphragm which are placed one above the other what will happen therefore it is used to limit or restrict the x-ray beam as it is placed one above the other how will we know there is one light bulb with mirror kept at 45 degree angle so that the field of the x-ray beam means the x-ray which are coming out is illuminated by the light therefore we will know the approximate area of the x-ray beam let's draw the diagram glass tube diaphragm is there one above the other light bulb and the mirror from the mirror light bulb are coming and the x-rays are coming therefore we will know what is the range of the x-ray beam because of the light beam now let us see the image see on one side there are two diaphragms with shutters to adjust one and the other how much width we want the opening to be and this is placed between the glass tube and the patient and it can restrict the shape of the beam 
now let us revise beam restricting device means it will restrict the x-ray beam so that we can shape the x-ray beam now how it is done it is done by aperture diaphragm cone and cylinders or the third collimators this is placed between the x-ray tube from where x-rays will be generated and between the patient so between the tube and the patient this beam restricting device will be replaced so from the glass tube if x-rays are produced it will hit first the beam restricting device this will regulate the shape according to the shape of the beam restricting device suppose if it was cone so cone shape beam will come if it is cylinder so cylinder aperture diaphragm so through the hole only the x-ray beam will come so this regulated shape of the beam then will go and hit the patient why we are doing this because of the beam restricting device smaller area of the patient will be exposed therefore less scattered radiation which is very advantage but there are some disadvantage also what because to increase the image quality we need to increase the exposure therefore beam restricting device is the device which will restrict the x-ray beam